opening with the king's pawn controls the center and opens up the light squared bishop and queen, often leading to sharp games. In the Karokan defense, c6 supports a quick d7-d5 pawn push to control the center and challenge the e4 pawn. d4 grabs control of the center and attacks the e5 and c5 squares. d6 controls the e5 and c5 squares and allows the light squared bishop to develop. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. This develops a knight off its starting square, getting it into the action. f4 takes space in the center, controls the e5 square and prepares to develop the knight behind the f pawn. It is the last book move. This ignores an opportunity to pin a knight to the king. It is a mistake. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Recaptures. It is best. This activates a queen by developing it off of its starting square. This is the only move that works. It is best. Takes back. It is forced. This kicks an opposing knight. It is best. This moves the knight to safety. It is excellent. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. This threatens to kick a knight. It is good. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. It is best. This protects the attack pawn. This threatens to kick a knight. It is best. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. This threatens to prevent castling. It is good. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is good. This ignores an opportunity to prevent castling. It is an inaccuracy. The rooks can see each other now, allowing them to provide mutual defense. It is excellent. The opposing bishop is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. It is good. This moves the bishop to safety. It is best. White was better off, but now their position is winning. It is an inaccuracy. This allows the opponent to win a tempo by threatening a bishop. It is a mistake. This ignores a better way to win a tempo by threatening a bishop. It is a mistake. This misses a better way to move a bishop to safety. It is an inaccuracy. This mobilizes the knight, allowing it to control more of the board. It is best. This ignores a better way to defend a pawn that was under attack. It is a mistake. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. It is a miss. This is an equal trade. This is the only move that works. This prevents the opponent from being able to win a pawn. It is a great move. Recaptures. It is best. This offers an equal trade of pieces. It is good. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. The rooks can see each other now allowing them to provide mutual defense. This threatens to take an open file with a rook. It is best. This creates a threat to win a pawn. It is best. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This allows the opponent to kick a bishop. It is a mistake. This attacks a knight, winning a tempo when it moves away. It is good. This move puts the knight on a safer square. It is best. This is a fair move. It is good. This activates a rook by developing it off of its starting square. This threatens to reveal an attack on a pawn. It is good. The rook is now on an open file, which helps control squares across the board. This threatens to kick a bishop. It is good. This threatens to reveal an attack on a pawn. It is excellent. This allows the knight to control more squares. It is best. This defends the attacked pawn. This threatens to kick a knight. It is best. This reveals an attack on a bishop. It is best. This ignores a better way to move a bishop to safety. It is an inaccuracy. The opposing bishop is kicked by a pawn and must now move or be captured. It is good. This exposes an attack, threatening a pawn. It is good. 
This defends upon that was under attack and had no defenders. It is best. This moves the bishop to a more active square, making it gain scope. It is good. Very precise. It is best. This evades the check from the bishop. It is best. This blocks the attack on a pawn that could have been captured. It is best. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Takes back. It is best. This moves the bishop to a better location, allowing it to control more squares. It is best. The knight now occupies an outpost, a secure square in the opponent's territory. It is best. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is best. This exposes an attack, threatening a bishop. It is best. This moves the bishop to safety. It is best. That's an unfortunate error. It is a mistake. This ignores an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. It is a mistake. Right on target. It is best. This moves the bishop to a more active square, making it gain scope. This threatens to take an outpost with a bishop. It is excellent. This places a rook on the seventh rank, activating the rook and restricting the opponent's king. This stops the opponent from being able to take an outpost with a bishop. It is best. This is the strongest option. It is best. A very strong play. It is excellent. This wins time by threatening a knight and forcing it to move away. It is good. This defends a knight that was under attack and had no defenders. It is best. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. This doubles the rooks onto a single file, which allows them to team up to create threats. It is excellent. The bishop now occupies an outpost, a secure square in the opponent's territory. It is excellent. A solid choice. It is excellent. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This wins a pawn. It is excellent. Recaptures. It is excellent. This immobilizes the opponent's rook by pinning it to the king. It is best. Intense that was a serious game. White really outplayed black in that one. White took advantage of the opportunities they saw in the opening. White was a cut above black in the middle game.